that's where the Gehrim got sick. It's an amazing story in this measure. Va'avad chashash b'tzar moraya plus chin plag. He suffered from an illness for three and a half years. So Rabbi Chanina the Levakri Yosei. So Rabbi Chanina comes to visit him. Amalei Moi Salach looks at him and never is mitchin and mitchin zuch. He says, "What's going on?" Rabbi Chanina says to Rabbi Yosei, "What's going on?" Amalei is Amalei Yosei Rimasoi. I have more than I can bear. I have a pebble more than I can handle. Amalei so Rabbi Chanina says to him, "Look at it, Omer King." Shouldn't say that. You shouldn't say that you have to deal with something more than you're capable of dealing with. It's not nice. And the heavy you know what you should say? The faithful God. The faithful God. When the Shabbat was a Kelanem, you should say, Therefore, when the pain of the Gershon was very difficult, he would say, okay, well, then, he took the advice of his friend. And when it became mamish, utterly more than he could possibly bear. Rabbi Chanina, would come, He would say some kind of an epis, some kind of an incantation, some kind of a bruch, some kind of a something, and that would have the prayer of alleviating the pain that Rabbi Yechim was suffering. But Vasar Yomim, after some time, it changed Rabbi Chanina. Rabbi Chanina got sick. Right, so now Rabbi Yechim was sick, Rabbi Chanina went to visit him. So now the tables are turned, now Rabbi Chanina gets sick. So Rabbi Yechim, if I pray, Rabbi Yechim comes to visit him. Amar Leimor Yisalach, what's going on? Amar Leimor he says, How difficult is the suffering? Just kind of reward you gonna get for all of this suffering. Rabbi Chanina says, this is not my words, the Medrash. You know what? I'm waiting for the suffering. And I'm going to the reward. That's it. Forget that. Forget the reward. I don't want to suffer. Good morning. Lord, I'm not buying my home. The Lord, I'm rare. I don't want to suffer. I don't want the reward. You're telling me, wow, wow, could you imagine the kind of reward I'm getting? Good morning. I can't stand this. I can't deal with this. I can't abide this now. Good morning. That's what he says. So Rebbechon says to him, remember when I was sick, when for me it was Ramesh Kifrelech, you came and you whispered something and you made it go away. So whisper the same thing. You're the Bala whisperer. You're the Bala member. You did it for me, so do it for yourself. I don't know it. I needed you to help me, but you do know it. So why don't you say it for yourself? So he answered him something very true. Kah havina lo bar. I was on the outside. Havina arei lo achar. I was able to help somebody else. The chadun that I know the gav, but now I'm on the inside. Leisa la boy achman in the ear for me. Don't I need somebody else? You can help somebody else, but it's much harder to help yourself. For Yenim, I'll tell you. For me. It doesn't really work. Oh, my Lord, so he says, he gives him an answer. Number three. Plus it says, Aroa Nashar Shalom. Ain Shalom Vito, Shalom Kadosh Baruch Hu, Memash Ben Shiva, Elo Bivnei Adam, Shalom Ibam Rach Kesher The rod of Kadosh Baruch Hu only uh, attaches itself to somebody who is pliable. Somebody whose heart is soft. Because if the heart is hard, then the heart will break. If the heart is soft, then HaKadosh Baruch will bring what HaKadosh Baruch brings. Amr Abel Lazar, 
next paragraph, so the Russian is the Balabayas, Chai Mushnei Karos. Balabayas had two animals, Achas Kolcha Yacha and Achas Kolcha Rada. What was the Gezinta Behema, the Zinta Shtar Behema? The other one was the Achas Kolcha Garnish, the weakling. Alayas and Angel Matriach, who's he going to give the big job to do? Lola Mosa Shekocha Yacha. It's going to give the serious labor to the animal that's stronger. Kach in a Kodesh Borchu, in Naseh Asar Rishayim, Lama, Shein and Nechom Lama, Umiyu Menasa Atzadiki. And the same thing as Rabbi Yossi in the next paragraph, the Mashal is to a flax leader. Pishtani Zed, Kisha Pishtan on Kasha, Ain't no Makishon of Yosef. The flax is hard, he doesn't beat the flax. Because if he beats the flax, the flax is going to crack, and then the flax is worthless. Lama she eat no cows, it's going to split. Ukishi Pishon of Yafe, called Shehu Makishon, and how he was Shabachas, well, Machas. But when it's soft, so it strengthens it. Kafi Akash broke on the Nasa and the Rishon, she ain't the home of Lama, and the Nasa had said. I resonate very deeply with what Rabbi Chanina told Rabbi Yecha. You know what, Akadosh Baruch Hu, listen to me. I'm not so strong like you think I am. I'm not so strong. And you know what, I don't want to be so strong. Make me less strong. And not Rachmanus. Make me less strong. And not Rachmanus. God only brings what people could, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't really understand that. And how am I Michael? I'm, I'm majorly Michael, majorly Michael. So the Ferish and Medrash requires uh, thought. Number four, page five. Famous Gemara and Brachas, the Pei In the middle of the Abed, Pei Medal. Omar Rav Avi Itaimo, Ravi Chizda, Rav Adam, Shri Yisur and Ba'an Allah, Yifash Vesh Bumas. So we have to be introspective. Pish Vesh Bumas, what's up? Which to me is extraordinary. I actually can't be massive such a thing. So I did, I looked in the Lom Matzah. What I think it means is that I looked inside and I couldn't find anything that is as bad as what has happened to me. Yeah, of course, I, I, I look, I find an episode of this, a little bit of that, but I can make out. Yitla the Dippu Torah, the Intola of Lom Matzah, the Yadu Hashi Yisurim Shabbat Ha'adayim. We have a notion of Yisurim Shabbat Ha'adayim, which relates to the second explanation that I presented earlier. Look at Rashi and Yisurim Shabbat Ha'adayim, on the left-hand side in the middle, the top of Hei and Aleph. Yibra Maschal Yisurim Shabbat Ha'adayim, Kadosh Baruch Hu, Ni Yasro Ba'olam Hazer, Ba'olam Shum Avon, Kadei Lahar Ba'oschor Ba'olam Hadar Yosem, Kadei Zuchu. And I'll tell you something, I, I'm a cop. I, I can understand that. I can and I can't. So there are four Mahalos here, and maybe you know more. One is <coughs> the reward and punishment paradigm, which Yitzhak Arana tries to defend by saying that we question it because we're, it's a chisari idea on our part, we don't really know the truth. The second is Oilo Haba, the third is you give somebody what they could take, and the fourth is Yisra A number of years ago, I came across a magnificent poem of Robert Frost on page six. And it really resonated with me. Yesh Chachma Bagoyim Tamen because he hits the nail on the head. <coughs> Comes from the complete poems of Robert 
for us. It's called The Mask of Reason. There's a man and a wife. A man sits leaning back against the palm. His wife lies by him looking at the sky to have a conversation. The wife says, halfway down the first column, there's a strange light on everything today. The man says, at the end, someone is caught in the branches. Second column, the wife says, it's God. Skip a little bit, the wife says, go over and speak to him before the others come. Tell them he may remember you, you're Job. God is there. You once had Epis to do with God. Go over and reintroduce yourself to him. God. Oh, I remember well. No joke, my patience. How are you now? I trust you're quite recovered and feel no ill effects from what I gave you. Job. Third line. Yes, I'm fine, except for now and then a reminiscent twinge of rheumatism. Says God, and that's the eager when he puts into God's mouth. I've had you on my mind a thousand years to thank you someday for the way you helped me establish once for all the principle. There's no connection man can reason out between his just deserts and what he gives. You help me establish once for all the principle that there's no connection man can reason out. Understand, it's not that there's no connection, but there's no connection that a human being can be massive, that a human being can understand between the just deserts and what happens. Virtue may fail and wickedness succeed. It was a great demonstration we put on. A few months later, too long I wrote you this apology for the apparently unmeaning sorrow you were afflicted with in those old days. But it was of the essence of the trial you shouldn't understand it at the time. It had to seem unmeaning to have me. And so we're left, we're left with questions. We're left with a question that the rabbi posed when he so graciously introduced me a while ago. What's in this? How do we understand this? We are not needed. We believe in a revolution. And we take that belief really seriously. We understand that now, during the Seder of the Children in particular, Korav Hashem, the whole Korav of the Baruch was closer to us. We're engaged in a relationship with the Kaddish Baruch. We take the Kaddish Baruch seriously, and what does it mean? It just doesn't seem right. We are met with unmitigated uncertainty. And as a matter of fact, on page seven. Uncertainty is at the core of Rosh Hashanah. The core of Rosh Hashanah, the core of the Iker Mitzvah Saseh that we perform at Rosh Hashanah is uncertainty. We don't know. The Gemara says, Amar Abayim, Rabbi Gimel, on the days of Rosh Hashanah, a little bit more than halfway down the Yomit. We use as the source for the sounds of the chauffeur the word that's used in the context of Ema de Sisra. And the word that's used in the context of Ema de Sisra is uncertain. We don't know what it means. But the Yahweh name Sisra. Does it mean the long out crafts like the shmarim? Does it mean the short staccato sounds like the true? And we pass in the uncertainty. On Lamadala Lamadala, at the end of the Sukkot, at the bottom of page 7, is in Rabbi Yochut, Rabbi Yavo, the Kisri, the Kiyosh, or Shishvarim, true on Tekiya. Monashach, Rabbi Yomar, Iyabu, the Yomir, Nave, Tekiya, true on Tekiya. The Iganuche, Yomach, why do you do shvar and true in the middle? We know you have tekiya on both sides. The middle is one sound. So whatever that sound is, that's the sound you should do in the middle. You should either do shvar and surround it by two tekiyas, or do true and surround by two tekiyas. And for the normal sound, 
We don't know. There's a lot that we don't know. And when we listen to the chauffeur, the chauffeur screams uncertainty to us. That's dafka why we do what we do. In the top left of page 8, I Xeroxed a little passage from Rav Salvechik, <coughs> who analyzes the experience of Ein Sisra. Rav Salvechik says that the chauffeur was the required response to the chauffeur on the top left of page 8, which the Rambam refers to the famous Rambam Uru, Yishen and Yishinazcha, and awakening from sleep. The required response is the abrupt, tragic realization that the false assumptions upon which we build our lives have come crashing before our eyes. We find ourselves alone at the end of the paragraph, bereft of our illusions, terrified and paralyzed before God. In the book of Judges, the story is told of the decisive military defeat and the humiliating death of the pagan general Sisera at the hand of the Israelites. In the song of praise, for this victory, the prophetess Devorah portrayed the mother of Sisera waiting at her window for her son's victorious return from the battle against the Israelites, as he had indeed done so many times in the past. And he quotes this passage. It's on the top right-hand side. Yet although overtly anticipating her son's triumphant return, says Rabbi Salvation, in a deep recess of her heart, Sister's mother tragically sensed that this time he was, in fact, never coming home again. And this, the certainty of shattered illusions, is the core of the show. I actually don't see it that way. I actually see that the whole point of Ein Sisra is Dafka because she was uncertain this time also. She didn't know for sure that this time he was not going to come out. She's sitting at the window and she's waiting and she doesn't know because there's a lot that we don't know. There's an enormous amount that we don't know, and not knowing, the humility of human not knowing, is at the core of Shofar, and at the core of Yom Kippur. But there is one thing that I believe we do know, and with this I want to conclude. Ashrei Ha'am, what do we say after we finish the case? Ashrei Ha'am, right there in the middle of the right hand side, page 8. We are a nation that knows the truth. What does it mean, Yode Surua? If you look at the Pasuk in Bamibar at the bottom of the page, where the Pasuk says, What does Trua mean? Says Rashi, Trua Smelachbo, Trua. Is a lush of him of You see, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what I really feel and struggle to feel is the presence of the Kaddish Baruch. There are times when we don't understand, and there are times when we even more than don't understand, we're angry, and there are times when we challenge, and there are times when we struggle. But we're struggling with the Rabbanishim, who is a constant, ongoing, primary force in our lives. If I didn't believe Hasashon and the Rabbanishim, so what am I wasting my time for? It's all chance, and who knows? Who cares? It doesn't matter. It's mickering. I struggle because I believe in God. And because I believe that God is engaged with me in my life. If you look on the left-hand side, the last page, or excuse me, the middle of page 9, and at the end of the last quote, one of my favorite quotes from Rabbi Salvatore. And at the end of the day, this is what gives me chizuk. He talks about 
his mother. This is a hesped he gave for his Nachatenista. His Nachatenista, the mother of my teacher, I studied in university with the Rav's older son in law, Professor Yitzhak Tworsky, a home of Rachel. His father was the Toller Rebbe. When his father died, he became the Toller Rebbe. He was a professor at Harvard and he was the Toller Rebbe. His mother was the Toller Rebbe, and when she died, he was married. He, Professor Tworsky, was married to the oldest daughter of Rav Salvechik. He was the son in law of Rav Salvechik. So his mother and Rav Salvechik were Mechutayim. When she died, the Rav was masked her and published the Hespid in a year later in Tradition Magazine. In the Masked is he talked about his own mother. Last page. I admit that I'm not able to define precisely the Masoretic role of the Jewish mother. Only by circumscription I hope to be able to explain it. Permit me to draw upon my own experiences. And he talks about his relationship with his own mother. I still remember the nostalgia too at the end of the paragraph I learned from her very much. Most of all, I learned that Judaism expresses itself not only in formal compliance with the law, but also in the living experience. It's not just a maisa mitzvah, it's not just a vahula mitzvah, it's not just the technicality of the mitzvah, but there's, there's a life to the mitzvah, there's a feeling, there's a, there's a varakai. The mitzvah is alive, it affects me. It's not just something profound to be external that I do. She told me that there's a flavor, a scent, a warmth to mitzvahs. I learned from her the most important thing in life. This is the line. To feel the presence of the Almighty and the gentle pressure of his hand resting upon my frail shoulders. And even when I'm struggling, and even when I don't understand, and even when it seems like it's exactly the opposite, who better to yell at than the Rabbana Shalom? Who better to struggle with than the Rabbana Shalom? Who better to see the Chama from than the Rabbana And I think that's Pshat. Where I started. What does it mean? We should not feel a stalker. Not if you're an Israel, I would say. The English translation is wrong. The English translation that we started with is repentance, prayer, and charity cancel the stern decree. They don't cancel the stern decree. If it wanted to say cancel the stern decree, it would have said a true love feel of Stalka, Mahavirin S. Abizera Hamrava. What does it say? Uchuva Filo Staka, Mahavirin S. Roa. The Gizera doesn't necessarily go away, and we have no idea. No idea, zero. 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 But what makes the Roa Abizera somewhat manageable? The evilness of the decree, the bitterness, the absolute chasm is true but feel and stalker. Because true but feel and stalker presuppose a relationship with our Kodesh Baruch. True but feel and stalker presuppose a relationship with a community. This is a community. This is an amazing community. People never who suffer draw comfort from the community. Come to Shu. People come to the ship house. People pour chesed. People sit and cry. There's nothing you can say. One draws a shikel, epis, horror, something, something to deal from Shuva Filo and Stalker. Shuva means I have a relationship with the Kodesh Bro. Shuva is not only for Ben Adam or Makam, it's Ben Adam or I'm part of a community. I have to deal with people. If I ruin them, I have to go to them. I get strength from them. Tefillah is, I'm a star of God, Kodesh Baruch I'm a star to feel that hug around my shoulder, that glut on my cheek, even when I'm dying and I'm choking. And Tefillah takes place not at all. Tefillah presupposes a tzibur. I have to come to Shul. Tzedakah is a relationship with somebody else. At the end of the day, there are no answers. But we draw maybe a measure of something. True vote, female stock. Mavirin. 
as a row how to say it. It somehow helps a little bit. Doesn't make it go away, doesn't make it not happen. It helps somewhat to deal with in the darkest and most difficult moments. Kodesh Baruch should give us the wisdom and give us the capacity, in spite of everything, to continue to believe in Him and to seek solace in Him and to pray to Kodesh Baruch for the meaning and for the wisdom and for the strength and for the Zohar and for the Brachos that the Kodesh Baruch has to offer us for this year and in Mirza Shem for many years to come.